All right. This is my first uh, attempt at making a homemade jelly plate. And I use, I'll show you the ingredients in this. I'll make another one also, a video one covering how I made it. But this is the silicone container. Pull it away. I just want to very, very successful. And so I need to, this is pretty thick. That's about an inch thick. Squishy inch thick. I have to, I'm going to have to let it sit out. This is the surface that you generally don't work on but it is really smooth too try to bring it in the light so you can see it. it really is smooth and so i can use that side there's some tiny 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 bubbles but it's inside it it's inside it the surface is smooth and then this the bottom part the part that faces the container is rather smooth also you can see a little gradation to it because that's the um, texture of the silicone container it was in but I don't think that's gonna matter because I really don't want mine smooth I like the little small imperfections that give you some nice textures on the monoprint but this is really good and I am so excited I can't wait to try it out and I'll get some more ingredients and show you what I used to, how I made it, which I use the same ingredients that um, most people online are telling you to use. I just mix mine differently. And it was like no mess, all mixed in one cup. I use a cup, yes I do. So I'll show you how to do that. And it was quick, it was easy. Ta-da! Thank you for joining me for the homemade jelly gel plate that's what i'll call it it's made out of, after i think the trademark name is jelly plate jelly but um because it's made from gelatin so homemade gel plate for mono printing